we shall discuss the recommended protection method under the following headings. Permitted Equipments in Zone 0 No electrical equipment or fittings are allowed in Zone 0 classified area. However, instrumentation devices of the type XIA are allowed. Permitted Equipments in Zone 1 In Zone 1 classified areas, the motors shall be flame-proof, that is, XD or pressurized enclosure motor, XP. Transformers may be avoided as far as practicable in hazardous areas, but if there is no other way, then the transformers shall be flame-proof type. Same is the case with capacitors. Control and instrument transformers shall be intrinsically safe, XIA or XIB type only. Light fittings shall be flame-proof type. Switch gear and control gear shall be flame-proof type. Communication and meter equipment being low power shall be intrinsically safe, XIA or XIB type. Portable hand lamps shall also be intrinsically safe apparatus. Permitted equipments in Zone 2 In Zone 2 classified areas, the motors shall be flame-proof or pressurized enclosure type as in Zone 1 areas or XN non-sparking type or XE increased safety type. All Zone 1 apparatus are acceptable in Zone 2 classified areas. However, the Zone 2 apparatus cannot be used in Zone 1 areas. Transformers and capacitors may be flame-proof type or pressurized enclosure type. Control and instrumentation transformers shall intrinsically be safe type, complying with XIA or XIB or XIC. XIC is designed for Zone 2 areas. XIC apparatus is not suitable for Zone 1 areas. Light fittings shall be non-sparking or increased safety fittings. You may also use flame-proof fittings, but it is not necessary. Switch gear and control gear shall be flame-proof type or oil-immersed type. Communication and metering equipment may be intrinsically safe XIC type also. Portable hand lamps shall be XIC type. Flame-proof enclosure How does a flame-proof enclosure work? Click on the tabs to know more. There shall be easy access to equipment for maintenance and inspection and for the emergency situations. The switchgear or equipment shall be set for automatic disconnection on overload or fault conditions. There shall be an FLP emergency switch or push button to cut the power to the equipment on emergency situations. The equipments shall be earthed so as to dissipate the static electricity so accumulated. The resistance till the earth pit shall be maintained below 10 ohm. Unused cable entries like cable gland holes shall be sealed off using approved blanking devices. Only certified FLP cable glands shall be used. There shall not be any joints in the cables as far as practicable. If any, they shall be approved protection in the interconnecting point. There shall be flame-proof interconnecting boxes for cables to be joined. The best thing to do would be to avoid the joints altogether. Overhead lines are not allowed in hazardous areas as per IS5571 and OISD standards. Overhead lines shall be terminated outside the hazardous area and the same shall be continued using cable or conduit. 
The plug point and the plug shall have an interlock with the source, that is, the source shall be cut off while removing the plug from the plug point. The minimum distance of obstruction of the flame proof joint for gas group 2A shall be 10 mm. For equipment designed for 2B gas group, the minimum clearance from the nearest equipment shall be at least 30 mm. Similarly, for 2C flame proof equipment, the clearance shall be at least 40 mm. Flame proof joints shall not be painted because the paint obstructs the flame path. Flame path is where the flame proof enclosure breathes when the air inside it expands due to explosion. In a cable gland which is engaged by threads, there shall be at least 5 full thread engagements or 8 mm wide, whichever is longer. There shall be no whatsoever modification performed to the flame proof enclosure. If any such modification is done, the same shall be sent for reapproval.